everyone, it's Tana. Welcome back to my channel and another video for the Rabbit Hole Designs. Today we're working with more items from the July 2022 release, Bunny Christmas and Clarence Believes. I pulled out the layering stencil, but I didn't end up using it today. We're going to make some pretty cool cards today, so let's get started. So we're going to do three cards. It's a fairly quick video and my images are colored, but look, we're using aluminum foil today, guys. That's right, so I'm taking my aluminum foil, I cut it slightly bigger than four and a quarter by five and a half, and you can use any card stack you want, it doesn't have to be black. And then I glued it to my panel on the front, and then I glued two sides to the back, snipped the four corners, kitty corner, like you would do for an infinity shaker, and then glued the other two edges. Now. I would make sure you use enough glue if you plan on trimming it down later on like I did. But we're going to alcohol ink on these. Now I embossed them with embossing folders first based on the cards I wanted to make. So two of them have snowflakes and one of them has a wood grain. So I showed you the colors there of alcohol ink I'm using for the wood grain. And this one was fairly simple. I went in with just the colors. I did. I used a little bit of alcohol bl or a blending solution. Not too much because it seemed to spread my color out and show the foil again. And then I would have to go back in with more alcohol ink. But it came out fairly the way I expected it to. You guys know uh, there's not a lot of control when it comes to alcohol ink. So you just gotta go with the flow, so to speak. <laughs> so this one, this one came out really dark, but I really liked it. I used two of the new alcohol pearl ink colors, not new, but new-ish. And I had those all on the screen for you guys, and then a lot of blues, purples, and aquas. I also threw in a little bit of silver alloy, um, I think it's called foundry, the one that looks like silver. Um, so you'll see later on though, that one, that didn't quite work. It worked on the foil, but you'll see what I mean. Now here. You touch it after it dries. Now these sat overnight, but that alloy came off on my finger. So I don't know if the alcohol blending solution touched it on that particular panel or not. But to solve that, we're going to go over it with a watermark ink pad and some clear, thick, double thick embossing powder like that. Extra thick stuff they sell in bulk in the craft stores. And I went over it twice. So I covered the entire panel with embossing uh, powder, heat, it, heat set it, and then went over it again. I did it for both snowflake panels, but I did not do it on the wood grain panel. Didn't need to. There was no alloy on the wood grain, so. You can't even tell that I heat embossed it with clear embossing powder. Like it was already super shiny. So there was no change in using the embossing powder. But I made sure that the alloy stayed where it was supposed to be. Moving on. So here we're gonna put together our first card. I have a piece of the retro Christmas pattern paper. And I like that teal color that's in that pattern paper. That's why I chose that particular paper. Now I'm using some silver glitter cardstock from my stash and another piece of the pattern paper, the same one, trimmed down. And I'm just lining that up off to the left side of my panel. But I'm still showing just a tiny bit of that panel on the left hand side. And then I cut a half inch strip of the silver glitter cardstock and put that right next to the strip of pattern paper and both of those are propped up on foam tape. And then we're gonna take our image of the bunny with the sled full of presents. And now this one I colored in uh, purples, violets, and aqua colors. So it kind of goes with the theme of the card. And I forgot to put glue on my bunny. I put glue on my foam tape, guys, but I did not put glue on the bunny. So I just had to flip him back with my tweezers and add a little bit of glue. Now my sentiment is peace on earth. Now that was in the bunny Christmas stamp set, and I stamped it out with Catherine Pooler's Rouge ink because the red went really well with the red in the pattern paper. And I believe I just stamped it out. There was no embossing powder over it. So there's that. Moving on to the second card here. 
we're going to put together the one with the wood grain panel. And that one is for the Clarence Believes image. So the sentiment with that says, may you never stop believing. I put that on the inside of the card. There is no sentiment on the front of this one. I trimmed it down to go over another piece of pattern paper. And I just cut the center out of that because I planned on using it. And after I glue the wood grain panel to the frame of pattern paper, I'm going to glue that onto a black card base. And then we're going to make a dream bubble, guys, for Clarence, sleeping Clarence, who's drooling on his arm, dreaming about Santa. So I drew these out, and then the first stop or dream bubble was too small, so I fussy cut it out, because I liked relatively how I drew it out, and just kind of air traced it, I like to call it. I went around those, the image, or the fussy cut um, piece. But made it larger. So now I have cut out pieces from that same pattern paper and one present from another piece of pattern paper. And I'm gluing these in his little dream bubble. And these are the things that Clarence dreams about when he's asleep in his bed, drooling all over himself, waiting for Santa to show up. And if you notice in the image, he does have cookies waiting for Santa. So we have a reindeer, uh, the top half of Santa, because I couldn't fit his entire sled and reindeer in the dream bubble. It just wasn't big enough. Uh, three different colored candy canes and a stocking. And those are the things that I have Clarence dreaming about. So we have the big thought or dream bubble. And then we have three tiny ones. And these are all going to be placed above the image of Clarence sleeping in his bed. And he has popped up on foam tape, and the dream bubbles are as well. And after we adhere all of these in place, we're going to use some glossy accents. It just didn't look like a dream bubble to me. And I thought, what can I add to it to make it look more dreamy? And what I came up with was glossy accents. So the three smaller ones were easier. The bigger one was... A bit more difficult I had to make sure there was no air bubbles and a hair little tiny hair that I don't know where it came from got stuck in the stocking and I had to take it out with my tweezers but other than that it went fairly well I did leave it overnight to dry to make sure that it was totally dry before I took pictures and moved it around but I thought it turned out super cute and for the third card we're not going with Christmas we're going with the new year and the winter look. So I turned the one line hollies, the two uncolored ones that I had from the shaker card in this month's first video, and I colored them in blues and purples to match that third uh, alcohol inked background. And now I'm gluing four, four pieces of 120 pound cardstock together. You guys saw me do this in the previous video. And using that to pop this panel up slightly. Not as much as it would be if I used foam tape, but it definitely makes it more sturdy. Now I'm gluing a piece of silver cardstock, silver glitter cardstock, to the center of that card. And I also used a frame of it for the alcohol inked panel, like I did in the other two cards. You can see just about like an eighth of an inch all up around the alcohol inked panel. Now I'm stamping out Happy New Year, which came in the Bunny Christmas stamp set. And I'm using the Drive-In Ink by Catherine Pooler. And I'm also putting Halo, inspired by Catherine Pooler, the WoW embossing powder. It's like glittery, glittery and sparkly. I put that over Happy New Year. It actually made the purple look really cool. Kind of looked as sparkly as the Purple Pearl alcohol ink when it's moving around. I put that in the center of the silver glittered strip and then I popped up not just the sentiment but the two holly images as well and it wasn't enough sparkle guys so I added some sparkly like iridescent stars from a embellishment kit look at this guys look what was in my hair I had no idea this was in my hair till I was editing this video so I left it in just so you guys would get a kick out of it so I put some stars in there on there and I also used my 
shimmer pen, glitter pen to go over the two Holly images. And then I got a clump of glitter. See it there? On that one Holly leaf. So I wiped it off with a cloth. And that's it for today's video, guys. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you liked what you saw here today. Don't forget to check out the Rabbit Hole Designs Facebook group and the Instagram page so you can get daily inspiration from the design team. And we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now, guys.